So hey guys, in this video, we'll be talking about the best resources out there to prepare for your SAT as well as the ACT for absolutely free without paying a single dollar or single rupee. And on the top of that, I'll be sharing in which scenario you should join some of the paid coaching institutes out there and in which scenario free resources are good enough. So that's why this video is not sponsored by any of those institutes out there. So this will be my feedback and also the feedback of the students who took each of these classes independently and how it helped them and how these are like not necessary for you. So without any further ado, let's get started. So before I talk about the best resources out there, I want to share that you guys have given up the idea of taking SAT or SAT subject test this year. Do you know why? Because 2000 colleges have made SAT optional, but Harvard University is not one of them. So if you are applying to a university which has made SAT optional, you should still take it. Do you know why? Because international students, for international students, it is already very difficult to get into some of the top schools in US. I know that UC Berkeley has also made optional, but if you have taken SAT, then you might get an edge. They will still considering it. They, are ha they have made it optional, but they are not saying that they will not look at your score at all. So you still should consider taking it. You, you have a lot of options out there. So for example, if I look at the ACT chart, you can take it starting from June 13 till December 12. So we have one, two, three, four, five, around five to six opportunities to take the ACT. And now talking about the SAT, you still have opportunities starting from August 29 till the end of the year. So like five to six opportunities to take the SAT as well. And talking about SAT subject is pretty much like 99% of the institutes out there have made it optional. So if you don't want to take it, it's okay. But if you have the time, you can take SAT subject test as well. So now as we have decided that you have to take SAT or the ACT, let's compare both of these exams and in which scenario you should take SAT or the ACT. So personally, I have taken both of these exams and I performed better in the ACT, but it could be different for you. So the first step to decide would be to take diagnostic tests for both of these exams. Not just one diagnostic test, but actually two mock tests. Do you know why? Because first First impression is not always the last impression. Sometimes what happens is when you're taking both of these tests for the first time, you might not know how these tests work. So you might not be able to give your best performance in both of these tests. So first take the test and know more about each of these tests and next day take it again and then compare your results in which tests are you performing better. Relatively, I have seen that students sometimes prefer, prefer ACT. Do you know why? That if you are doing like five to six questions wrong, then your overall score degrades less in the ACT as compared to SAT. For example, sometimes what happens is in the SAT, if you do one question wrong, you lose sometimes 20 points. So if you do five questions wrong in the ACT versus five questions wrong in the ACT, then ACT sometimes has an edge and you can have a better overall score because as you know that for top universities out there, 1520 or 1500 out of 1600 is the standard. And for ACT, 34, 33, 35, 36 is the standard. So that's why, so that's why ACT gets the edge to choose this over SAT for for most of the students out there. The number one free resource that I'm gonna talk about and it's probably one of the best out there is Khan Academy. So if you look up for ACT or the ACT on Khan Academy, you will find tutorials step by step how to tackle each kind of question. So there will be strategies separately for writing section, separately for reading section and also for the essay. And do you know why this is very helpful? Because when you are answering the questions for SAT or the ACT without taking any of these classes, which are free, then you are blank because when I was answering all of these questions, I thought that all five options or all four options mean the same and pretty much seem like the same answers. So how to choose between them? But with the help of these classes, you can kind of eliminate the wrong choices. And on the top of that, you will also be able to do some time management because these online tests also have a real clock just like the way it is in your final exam for ACT or the ACT. So definitely first step would be to watch all of these videos for Khan Academy online which for, for absolutely free. Now next step would be to go to crack ACT or crack SAT because they have tons of free uh, practice tests. You don't have to buy any book but you can buy a book because uh, like sometimes you don't have a printer and especially in this pandemic, it is difficult for you to go out and print. But if you have a printer, you can use this test. And I will also recommend you if you have an iPad, sometimes it's more handy because you don't have to print the same paper twice. It saves paper and like printing is very expensive in the US and in pandemic situation, it is very difficult for you to go out again and again to print as well. So you can try iPad as well. But, but nonetheless, this video is about using the free resources. So 
let's continue with that and the next resource would be college board's official website they have free tests available so just like we had eight free tests available on khan academy they have one free test available and you can get it checked from official college board's guide or just the way it will be checked by college board and another free resource out there is by south florida tutors.com so they have free sat guide which you can also use and i will be talking about their tutoring system in the end so wait for that so now let's move on with the paid resources out there because there's no harm if you can afford the best classes out there or best coaching out there to get the maximum score then you can go for it if you're rich then definitely go for it so now talking about the best and the cheapest course out there is on udemy and it's cost basically like 700 rupees or like 10 dollars and this course is proved to be very useful for some of my friends once again it's not a sponsor of this video so my friends told me that it was useful in the end because these tips were also kind of handy for SAT math and reading because these tips were not the same as the one provided on Khan Academy so you can go for it as well so now let's move on with the paid resources which are a little bit more expensive but can give you sometimes a better uh, better results because when, when you're taking these online classes, the one thing, the most important thing that is missing is feedback. So now let's talk to Shresh first and ask him how was his experience with Prep Scholar, where he paid around $400 for the SAT coaching. So hi Shresh, can you please tell which coaching did you join for SAT or for ACT and was it helpful and how much did it cost? I joined Prep Scholar for SAT tuition. It cost around $399 and it gave me a 150 point gain on my SAT score. So like how much were you scoring before the tuition classes and how would you advise students to take that tuition or not? I was scoring around 1190, 1180 in my normal, in my first try, while after taking the prep score tuition, I scored around 1350. So wow. as for the tuition, I would recommend students to take it if they need it, but not the prep scholar one. Even though it is cheap, it lacks the key features which the Indian students require. So basically on Khan Academy, Udemy, we're lacking the feedback part because there's no physical tutor to take help from. So do you get that kind of privilege using Prep Scholar? In, uh, Prep Scholar does not give any kind of personal feedback on your progress. Instead, it has a computerized progress bar which shows your level in each type of exercise. So there are different types of questions in the English. It will In your English section of the SAT, it will show your different progresses in your different questions. So in which scenario a student should take this coaching or any kind of coaching? And in which scenario Khan Academy or online resources are good enough? A student should only take these coachings if he has already given two or three practice tests and he's scoring in the same bandwidth or range. Suppose you want to give the SAT, but for three consecutive practice tests, you're scoring 1350, 1360, and then 1340. So you may think that you're scoring the 1300s, but you're stagnant. And when you're stagnant, that's the only time you should take external help. Thank you so much, Trace, for your valuable information. And now let's talk to Anmol and ask him how was his experience with Tutela Prep because Tutela Prep is a little more expensive. It costs around 1 to 1 1.5 lakh Indian rupees for three month SAT or the SAT course. And let's talk to him. So hi, Anmol, can you please introduce yourself and tell us where did you take coaching from and is it online or is it in class? Hey guys, my name is Anmol and I'm currently studying in grade 12 and I'm preparing for SAT through an organization known as Tutela Prep. They start from basics and we get up to an advanced level. Giving an example, when you start preparing for these standardized tests by yourself, you will directly start to answer the questions. But this situation is completely different in private tuition. Your maths mentor cleared all the basics topic that can be asked in an in a in a SAT exam. And after that, we we started with the questions. The second thing is about their approach to solve specific problem in the question paper. I think they have vast experience teaching various students. So they generally know that in which type of question students generally get stuck and we end up doing that types of question more than other norm, normal question. Your class is according to your convenience and you, when you are free and you, then when you can take it very easily. The third is consistency. The fourth is about targeting your shortcoming. While preparing through Khan Academy or any other online website, you will do you will not get personal one-on-one -on -one feedback as compared to your private coaching. A person is teaching you one-on-one -on -one and he will give you more and more that type of questions and after some time it will be more easier to solve the question. So once again, thank you so much and more. And now the number three paid resource out there is by SouthFloridaTutors.com or you can say SO flowtutors.com so the advantage with that is you will be getting feedback but it's 
commitment free so you don't have to commit for like three months or four months of tuition classes it's on hourly basis so let's say you're doing a test and you're facing some problems that i don't know why this question is wrong why this passage is incorrect and i don't know how to walk through that SAT reading passage so you can take one hour coaching from them and it's not that expensive but not that cheap either so you can go for it as well once again none of them have sponsored me and another advantage with them is that they will be giving you first of all free SAT guide for strategies you can use that and the link will be in the description below and on the top of that there's a scholarship opportunity but mainly for US citizens but in in some scenario you might be eligible so if you are meeting with their family requirements in some scenario you can learn from them for absolutely free but nonetheless this is also a great platform to get some feedback on your SAT preparation and do you know why feedback is very important because Taking the SAT exam is like learning how to drive. So if you're learning to drive on your own, you can sometimes cause accidents without feedback. But on the other hand, when you have some feedback, you can get to know how to move accelerator slowly with some controlled movement and also move the steering wheel carefully. So that's why it can definitely help you out. If your performance is improving automatically with just these online resources, then you don't have to take coaching at all. So that will be the conclusion. So that's pretty much it. I hope this video helps you out. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.